What's up guys, Wolfman Rick here. And I just got done watching a video on YouTube from the people at Adventures with Purpose and where they just found a missing 17 year old. And this was a great video. I recommend this video. However, this isn't about them finding Nicholas. This is about what irritated me in this video. And I tell you, I'm gonna jump right into all of that right now. Hey there, officer. I'm not being recorded on. I don't like being recorded on. I know I'm public service officer and I'm supposed to be here to help the community and with social media and cameras everywhere nowadays. I really feel uncomfortable. Maybe it's because of something I did or something I refused to do. But uh, anyways, I need the camera off. Turn the camera off. Okay. How do you know it's the car? Same license plate. My license plate. They pull my license, my license plate, plate off. It's the I'll car. go get it. Hang on. All right, I can understand. How do you know it's the car? Okay, well, um, hmm, you have a dive team out here, which means somebody's went in the water, and somehow they verified it's the car, but you're still defensive. I can get that. You just got there. Let's carry on. Well, that's not uh, okay. I've asked you guys. I've asked you guys. But yeah. I'm not going to guarantee you that the body Gosh, I hope it's not there. We're going to miss that fish fry at 5 o'clock. No, but at least it's my car, and I asked you guys. I begged you guys to check this room. It's been checked several times. I am trying to let you guys get through this part so I can do a review, and just watching it over irritates the shit out of me. You would have told us. Hey, sir. How do you know it's their car? Because I can tell you that's about... Sir, I know there's a car out there. Sir, we pulled his license plate. Where's the last plate at? I got it. I'm trying here. to figure out who's holding it. It's so, so, so first of all, you coming up already? You seem really defensive of, we don't want this to be the car. No, 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 no. Okay, so let, let's start over. Hey, I'm Jared. They started on me. Then. Okay. They started on me. I mean, come on. You're a sheriff. They started on me. Well, I would start on you too if I was missing my kids since February and it's now October and you're still denying the fact that there's even a body in the car. Check this out. I'm not going to guarantee you that the body is. No, but at least it's my car and I asked you guys. I begged you guys to check this room. It's been checked several times. It's been checked several times. Sure it has, of course. And then miraculously, we have a great set of people coming out here to try to pull this car out of the water to solve this missing person case. And you're going to say, if somebody would have told us. Why would anybody want to tell you? You guys had how many months now? February, March, April, May, June, July, August. Seven months. Let's just say six because... It's the beginning of this month and February it was the end of. So let's just say six months. You've had six months for you to get off your ass and do something. Did you? Of course not. Just like you're on the defensive for the fact that these people are missing their kid. However, if it was you, you'd be all over it. Okay, so first of all, we knew nothing about this. Yeah. 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 All right. We knew nothing about this. Well, I'll tell you what, I wouldn't tell you jack shit either if you've had six months to figure it out and you still haven't went out there to pull the car out of the water. Problem. And, and that's because the families in this we run into this all the time because families feel as though local agencies don't follow through on things especially uh, after, after, they've been, after they've been told let me just take a wild guess here you don't want to go through and follow through on what you're supposed to do because that would be extra paperwork and you and jim bob can't get down to the local tavern by seven o'clock to spend the rest of your nights so that's why we get brought in. We have come in. We've located it. And I've been the car. We have the license plate in hand. The license plate is over here. If you want to solid evidence. And that was the question. So, how, how did you know? Because I can tell you yeah. there's another car. Oh, we can tell you as well. Yeah. So, Watching this video, you'll find out there is actually six cars in this lake. However, using the sonar that they did, they could tell you what type of car this was. Yep. So it's right back here on my right. And going further up the river, they will tell you that there's also a couple more. However, these other ones do not even look remotely close to a crossover. See it? Oh yeah. So that one, I'm going to say, is not a crossover. Right, so I found the uh, I found the truck. Oh yeah, that's 100% a truck. Yep. Yeah. Not a crossover. And if you watch the video, you'll see one looks like even a VW bug. 
or a beetle. And I'm curious, if somebody does pull that out of the river, how close I am on my idea of their sonar. The problem is, yep. y'all are lucky right now because the current in this thing is horrible. Yep. It gets so horrible. In fact, we couldn't get in here for the last six months to tell you that this is the car. But the last two hours has been just fine to get in here. So thank gosh you guys are here. But I won't say that out loud. I can't say that again. So so right so right now where we're at is to work with you. Let's get the tow truck in here. Let's get the car out. And we're I'm here at is your, that where the car is at? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we're here at your disposal today to help you guys out. That's gonna be a big problem. Yes, it's going to be a big problem. For one, it creates a bunch of paperwork, and me and Sally may have to get down there to the local bar and get ourselves that burger and fries at the end of the day, and this is really going to cut into my paperwork. I just don't know. What. It's actually not. No, you got a tow truck and come right down here and move those rocks, no problem. Yep, they won't do that problem. That's the problem, because the county just built this. Come on, Barney Fife. The county just built this. Give me a freaking break. Do that. You're the sheriff, right? <laughs> yeah. We'll do you say. That is right. He is the sheriff, or supposed to be. Maybe he's an acting sheriff. Maybe the badge was sitting on the counter and he picked it up. I'm really not sure, but I'm telling you, he's not really acting like a sheriff because I don't even think uh, Barney Fife would do that. Um, I don't know. We have to ask Andy. This should give you an idea of what they're dealing with when they go out and try to help families recover vehicles, uh, possessions, and most importantly, family that is missing. All right. You can't guarantee there's a body, any of that stuff. Well, I can tell you that your gut feeling from watching the video right away is going to tell you what it is. Of course, the title does say solved. However, I highly recommend going in and watching this video and uh, try to not get as pissed as I am when it comes to that police officer who should be fired. And I'm saying that myself. With that, share the hell out of this. And if you happen to know how we can get that officer to pay for being shut a jerk, feel free to forward this to whoever you need to forward it to. Because I tell you what, that is not the kind of officer we and everybody else is fighting to keep. That is the kind of officers that need to go. Sadly enough, I've never thought I'd be the kind of person to put a video like this out there because I do value my job as well as other people's jobs and I try to stick to myself. But however, when I see something like this from a public service person who should be there on the offensive, not the defensive to help figure out what the problem is, I get a little irritated with that. That's Wolfman Rick's rants. Peace.